Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guy YouTube videos. If you like this video, please leave a like and even comment below. And if you like all my content, please hit the subscribe button. And why not click the bell icon for notifications too, that way you can see all my videos. Give me, give me the ball. Uh. Hello everybody. So what do we have in front of us here? We have a dead pixie frog. So if you recall, this is another one of the baby pixie frogs that came from my adult male. And I was contacted by my friend again, and one couple of the pixie frogs have died, the babies, four of them now. This is one of the four. Uh, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. So normally no deaths. This is a guy who's experienced with pixie frogs, the humidity, the temperatures, the feed, you know, and, and, and like we know, sometimes reptiles just die. You just have a weaker reptile, something could be wrong genetically, you don't know, the reptile just dies. But, from what I was told, fine yesterday, dead today. So this was just dropped off to me fresh when he went to give everyone, feed everyone dinner time. One frog was not moving in this position, picked it up. He said he thought it looked like it was breathing, but then he smelled it. I've smelled it. It smells dead. Uh, so it's definitely dead. So what do we have going on here? Well, we can look at our extremely well surgical. We have a, two paper plates that's wrapped in foil. That way when we perform our autopsy, if anything leaks through, it'll be caught by the uh, aluminum foil. So this pixie frog is pretty good. I mean, he had sent me, showed me pictures of it alive, and it was pretty plump. Small head, really wide body, which is my first guess for a baby this size of what's going on. Uh, the second thing he said is it just transitioned from eating mealworms, and he was feeding them smaller sized dubia roaches and he would put the dubia they, he feeds them in a feeding tub uh, everyone gets their own individual feeding tub that he puts in calcium dusted powder dusted when they were mealworms mealworms when they were dubia roaches the calcium is on the dubia roaches uh, this guy was an eater he'd drop them in they would eat and that was it so okay so we know he's eating we know the temperature's correct we know the humidity is correct. No water bowl inside of the tank. But with a baby pixie frog, getting them out and soaking them in the water bowl every morning. Okay? So we know that there's not a transfer of bacteria from pooping in a water bowl and coming out and dragging it in the cage. Okay? There was no reason to need to do a, a soil change or anything yet because it's only been going in there for like two months so that's fine day and night cycle on a light okay and this particular his frogs do have a uv light although you really don't need one for pixie frogs since they spend most of their time in the shade underneath bushes and whatnot and you know wild shrubbery okay but he's got one it's on a cycle and then enough substrate for the pixie frog to burrow into. And he said a lot of times he would find it burrowed. All right. Substrate has a heat pad under it on the outside of the tank. And the substrate is, you know, angled in terms of depth. So closer and a, a hot, so hot and cool. Okay. And there was foliage, fake foliage in the cage. So the pixie frog could go and hide or burrow and feel comfortable. Okay, all right, so we have the proper light cycle, the proper heat and humidity, what seems like the perfect diet, the proper substrate, coconut fiber, that's, you know, nice and moist and no water. So what happened to this pixie frog? I'm gonna guess, judging by the size, it could have, eaten something and gotten impacted um, and this can happen sometimes to pixie frogs the the fake foliage could have eaten the fake foliage and then it just got impacted and died 
could have eaten some substrate and packed it and died. Or, and I'm going to go on and guess here, because pixie frogs like to swallow things whole as well. He could have switched this guy from mealworms to dubia roaches too early. And maybe this guy ate too big of a, a dubia roach, swallowed it whole, and it could have been fighting around in his stomach and caused some trauma. Or it was so big that it itself caused some blockage and he was just too, too small to pass it. We're going to do our autopsy. Uh, and we're going to find out. So just so everyone's aware, this thing, 100% dead. I mean, it, it, it smells rotten. That's why I've got my gloves. But it's, it's not alive. It's not going to feel any pain. You may see it move a little bit because there's a lot of liquid. There's gas in here. Um, what happened? When it did come to me and I, I was rinsing it, because obviously I washed it to take a look, it did have, uh, you know, a layer of shed that was going to come off. So this thing was definitely growing. So what what did happen? The impaction theory is one that I like, that uh, I want to stick with. I mean, from the underside, everything looks really good. So, it's going to be interesting, guys. If you're squeamish, turn away now because we're about to whoop, whoop right up this guy and get into the guts and everything. And there's definitely some liquid going on and, and everything there, but we're going to do a, a frog autopsy. Now, in school, if you were lucky enough to dissect a frog or dissect this or dissect that, then you've been through this process already before um if not here we go so from we did our visual inspection from the outside guys everything looked good even from the bottom this this poor little dude looks good looks a little bloated but that could be from the gases uh inside you know once he dies those gases just bubble on up we see everything moving around so let's go ahead and give this cut this is what everyone's going to be uh coming here for you said autopsy, and then you talked for seven minutes. Yeah, well, you know, I wanted to uh, go over what exactly it is we're going to be doing. Let's lightly score this guy. That's going to be our cut. Oh, man, this guy is so rubbery. Even this really sharp knife is not going to like doing this. And I really, normally I would just go right through him. But I don't want to puncture the uh, the stomach. I really want to see what's in there. What I think the cause is. Once we get a little bit, we're going to get in here a lot better. There we go. All right, we're opening up the skin. I'm going to do this really slow because I really want to get everything in there. Their outside skin is just so elasticy. All right. There's, there's everything comes out and the smell. Oh, good lord. The smell is quite rancid. Uh huh. What we do for my viewers? Let's cut this. Very nice. Okay. Here are all of the organs. This liquid that came out. Let's isolate the stomach, which is over here. Oh yeah, okay, I was right. I already knew. I knew it when he said switching to dubia. Um, let's take a look at everything. We don't want to puncture the intestines. We don't want to puncture uh, what we don't have to, small intestine. Hey, up. Look at look look at this. 
since I just put push on this all the gases but um this guy died exactly from what I thought of impaction from eating something too big here's the stomach what do we see in there can you guys make that out Dubia roach right there Dubia roach right there. He just took down and look and look at. He just ate something that was too big. He he swat the, the 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 frog swallowed this thing, thought it was like a feast. Stretched his stomach. Like a balloon. But look at the size of this tube here. That it has to pass through. See this. See how small this is. Look at this right here. There was no way. That thing went into his stomach, and I don't eh, actually. I, I don't see. I'm trying to look for any type of trauma that it would have caused, but it, it, it looks like it died. But it was just too big to uh to digest. That's all. Too big to digest. And uh, the frog is too small. That can happen sometimes, guys. You feed them too big of meals. I'm, I'm looking for any... T now, sometimes the meal that it gets fed will cause trauma. But what really what happened here is he ate this dubia roach. And he, he gobbled it down in two seconds. And it was too big to digest, and it just rotted. It blocked him up, number one, as you can see. And then it started to rot. Look at the gas that built up. And this guy died from the inside. That's really a shame. My, my frog's still eating mealworms. Uh, and, and, man, it's just, you know, pixie frogs, guys, are like, they're like garbage cans. They'll go in, and they'll just eat. And they'll eat, and they'll eat, and they'll eat. And you can kill your pixie frog by feeding it something that it is not ready to eat. That's what will happen, guys. This is, And a lot of times people are like, my pixie frog died. I don't know why. And even if it's an adult, if it's a large pixie frog, this can happen. You can eat this dubia roach or, or something else. Could have been dirt. But when he said, oh, I just switched them from mealworms to baby dubia roaches. This looks to be two roaches, one here and one here. The frog sucked him in in two seconds, doesn't even swallow. Boom, boom. There's no way this can get through that. What a shame. Dead frog because of that. All right, guys. Hope I taught you something. It happens. Take care.